Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Playing an EIK WM France Tech G4 G5 with G Deck. Taking a look at this first pile, um, hmm. Bunch of pretty good cards here. No clear best pick. Uh, Peon, Family Counselor, Fence Dealer, Social Climber, Bricklayer. All those are pretty reasonable. Um, I think I'm going to take Peon as my first pick here. Oh, Peon seems to have disappeared. That's weird. I'll have to refresh. There it is. Excellent. Okay, looking at this next pick, I see Head of the Family. That looks like a pretty strong pick to me. Uh, so with Peon, I want to be trying to get lots of family members, get a clay oven or something, and then whenever I go on the one grain spot, it's a five food action. Should be pretty handy. Um, late Bloomer is in very interesting. Um, especially with Animal Tamer's Apprentice, there's a combo there. But Head of the Family is too good to pass up on. All right, looking at this next pile, um, I think the pick is probably House Steward. Although Stone Curator is nice, I think House Steward with Head of the Family is a pretty clear pick. So with uh, Peon in hand, I feel pretty comfortable taking Pickler, although the, um, the Kelp Gatherer might have something to say about that. Forest Farmer is a pretty reasonable card as well. Hmm... Forest Farmer, Pickler, probably one of those two. I guess I'll go for the Forest Farmer. I haven't seen a way of plowing yet. And I don't want to give the points to someone else without having a solid way of getting lots of fields. I actually like Alms Collector here. I can play it in round four and then uh, House Steward in round five. That'd be okay. Food Critic is uh, not bad as well. Um, I mean, I'm going to want to get like a Cooking Hearth anyways. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm considering Food Critic over Alms Collector. That's my, what I'm considering here. You know what, if I go for a large house, I probably am not going to have time for, oh, uh, you know what, I, I will probably have time for Food Critic. Hmm. But I think Alms Collector is just going to be, let my head of the family play explode really quick. And then this pick, uh, Animal Tamer's Apprentice, definitely. This is quite a nice card.
So if I go for first fireplace, and then build a room early, and then let Animal Tamer's Apprentice get me some food. I'm going to take Astronomer here just because it's kind of fun. If I can make it work even once, it's so cool. Like if I go on plow and field and day labor, then third action can be uh, occupation for a point or some points. Okay, um, hmm, pretty sure this pick is threshing machine plow. Best card in this pile by. Actually, you know what? Brushwood roof is also excellent. Yeah, brushwood roof, I think. You know what? It might come back. Let's see if it comes back. Hmm. I guess everyone else saw House Steward, almost everyone. So yeah, I'll go with Brushwood, sure. Not the best card, but it'll let me do what I want to do in this game. Okay, uh, looks like Grain Bag. Pretty sure Grain Bag is the pick here. Uh, Bread Machine is nice, but Peon gives me a similar ability. So I think Grain Bag, getting multiple grain and baking them, is going to be pretty strong. Okay, looking at this next pile, uh, probably dough. Gimlet is okay. Seasonal plants is okay. I guess private market with... Um, Considering the potential grain bag peon combo I could have going, that could be quite nice. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about Gimlet is it just two minor improvements before I build any rooms. But if I can make it work, it'll be pretty good. So while I want the first fireplace, if I don't get it and play Gimlet instead, that'll be okay. Like, I wouldn't mind more, even more resources. And this is, ooh. Storage shed would be pretty good for me here. Corn scoop would be okay. Gimlet makes my storage shed cheaper. The timing on storage shed is a little awkward. Ah, let's try it. Maybe I build one stable with one room and then use storage shed to play grain bag and gimlet. And getting stone from storage shed would be handy. Especially if I go for a five room house. Make it easier for me to get to five stone rooms. And this table's a little cheaper if I play Gimlet first or something.
Wow, I got Threshing Machine Plowback. That looks pretty good to me. The other thing I would consider is Kudzu, but Threshing Machine Plow is a bit better. Carrots is okay, but I'd rather the two extra fields, for sure. And then one point and one or two food. And this is Costermongers, I think. Country Silo is okay, but... And I got dough back, so this works. Works nicely. So my thinking is, um, arms collector in round four, uh, head of the f or house steward in round five, head of the family in round six. The timing on Animal, Animal Tamer's Apprentice is a little awkward this game, but might work out. I think the food from Mom's Collector could be quite good. So I'm thinking two wood actions, two clay, or three wood actions, two clay actions. One start player. One occupation. So yeah, three wood actions, two clay actions, one start player, one occupation. That puts me at seven moves. So I have one move that could be pretty much anything. Um, another occupation move or... Oh, building the fireplace maybe. Yeah, that might be my move. Three, three times wood, two times clay, one occupation, one fireplace, one star player. That sounds all right. Playing Gimlet before storage shed is totally fine because it makes me build the, store, build the storage shed shed easier. Ooh, I start second. This is quite nice. I'm also happy to see Patroness, means Barbarossa probably going to play a lot of occupations. If he does so quickly, that's good for my alms collector. Oh, Pickler from Joe. So we know it is getting played. I would guess he has a improvement that he that costs a wood that he's going to play as well. So 
three wood and two clay, pretty good start for me. Basically exactly what I'm looking for. Animal Tamer's Apprentice and Head of the Family don't go super well together because usually you want to build room and family growth in the same round. But I mean, if, I, if it's one occupation I don't play, that's no problem. If it does end up that I can easily build the first room, then I don't need to play Head of the Family. I can play Animal Tamer's Apprentice instead, look like I'm passing on first growth and still get it and get a bunch of food, depending on how all the actions shake out. But I do need to remember that Joe and Barbarossa both saw House Steward, so likely they have plans to build a lot of rooms. So I should definitely plan on going for uh, four room or for five rooms myself. Okay, so if I get three wood and then fireplace, that's looking pretty good here. Oh wow, charcoal burner for Joe. Charcoal Burner, very strong. One of the strongest cards. Barbarossa with Joiner. I get three wood again. Looking good so far. Might be that I get a three read action in round five. Because Ken probably takes read stone food again here, and then Joe gets to read, and Barbarossa is taking read with his patroness, so might not want a three two read action. So I might be able to start player into three read, which would be cool. So my round four would be something like first action alms collector, second action. Start player Gimlet, maybe, and then grab three read. Whoops, I removed the fireplace by accident. It does help Joe, but I know it's going to be worth it for me, especially with Grain Bag. It's a baking improvement. So Joe is third player still. It's a little too bad that sheep are coming so late, but uh, I will manage somehow. Hmm, four clay, three wood. I guess three clay is almost as good as four clay for me, so I'll take the three wood. So I'm hoping two occupations get played this round, so that, yeah, in round four I can play 
play arms collector. Hmm. Cannot play an occupation there. Maybe has eyes on the first room. I mean, taking three wood here is, is good. For sure. Just would like him to play an occupation. <laughs> Joe and Barbar Barbarossa might, though, so that would be good, too. Oh, four clay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense for Joe. So I'm hoping that Barbarossa plays an occupation. Yeah, there we go. Hut Builder. Oof. Barbarossa got some good cards. Hut Builder's great. Great start for him. So I grab three clay, it lets me play pay the gimlet. Pay for the gimlet. Oh, wow. Okay, that works out. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually perfect for my arms collector. Job seeker. Perfect. Great card for uh, Ken. Looks like I got the worst first pick out of anyone by a large margin. I pack with Peon compared to Job Seeker, Charcoal Burner, and Patroness or Hut Builder. Yikes. And there's Family Counselor, went second from that pile. Very fun card. So I expect Ken plays Build Room. Barbarossa took wood again. So I get seven food from my alms collector. Oh, Barbarossa reminding me Job Seeker doesn't count as a plate occupation for any purpose. So only six food, unfortunately. Oh, well, close enough. I am surprised that Ken took wood there instead of playing build room. Hmm. Uh, drained Pawn for Barbarossa on Start Player, it looks like. So I can take two Reed here, or I can gamble. Gamble on getting three Reed next round. Hmm. I think I'm going to play... I have, uh, I have Brushwood Roof, so even if I miss out on the green, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I think I play Gimlet here. Oh, who am I kidding? Ken wants to activate his job seeker. He's going on to read. Unless he goes on fishing, that's possible. Or fencing. He might 
We might have plans to do one of those things, but uh, we'll see. I do have brushwood roof, so I got some a little bit of flexibility. Brushwood roof plus house steward, so yep, I got some stuff that I can do. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh well. I mean, three wood, if I play brushwood roof, is just as good as three reed. So I'm hoping for family growth to come as late as possible. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to play house steward. Yeah, it looks like Ad Hoc's correct. Ken didn't pay for his stuff properly. Fortunately, Family Counselor pays out on the work phase. So, yeah, it looks like he's fine now. All right, I've got past uh, three wood, so this works. I do want to play brushwood, but I think the three wood so that I can build two rooms at once is worth it. I also want to take sheep as well. Hmm. So I got a bunch of stuff to do. I want to play brushwood roof. I want to take sheep. I want to play head of the family. So sheep. Reed, sheep, reed or brushwood. Head of the family, room. So the earliest I could grow is round eight. So I'm really hoping that uh, family growth does not come until round seven.
<sighs> it's always lovely when players don't know how to count their resources. Hmm, so Barbarossa a little greedy here. Um, I could start player, but that would be really, really brutal of me. Hmm, I could do four wood as well. Four wood is always good. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm pretty sure my second action is going to be sheep no matter what. So what should I do with my first action here? Do I play brushwood roof? Do I play for wood? I guess if I take two read, he's forced to to change some of what he's done. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do this. So each room is six wood. And then I can build two stables for one wood each. Oh nice, he's not building. Okay, so that means I'm gonna get my sheep. Unless they get swept, it's very possible. Yeah, um, I could room here, then occupation, head of the family, then grow in round seven. But I think it's going to be much better for me to hold my sheep, like to get the sheep grab. That means that I pass up on the sheep grab. So I don't want to do that. Definitely want to get sheep.
All right. Um, oh, and I'm going to arrange my stuff a little different. just to make it obvious that I have threshing machine plow. So instead of playing head of the family, I could build one more stable next round. So I could stable block Ken TW, and that would let me grow Round eight. I might do that. I oh oh, there's six wood available. Okay, no, I'm taking six wood for sure. This is really good for me. Really good because that six wood is another room. Right there. Very, very good. I have no idea what Ken's doing. So he's renovating instead of building a room. I'm, yeah, a little confused. I imagine Joe's going to do something with, uh, with uh, getting the clay oven. I would imagine he's doing, like, reedstone food. Yeah. Reedstone food for clay reno, clay oven. Probably. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth playing Storage Shed here. It's a four stone miner, doesn't cost me any points. Um, if I don't have space for a third animal, it does cost me a little bit of food. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to rebuild before the end of round nine. Or maybe first action build round eight, second action grow, play Storage Shed. Something like that. That which is dance ground positioning is a little awkward. I wonder what Barbarossa has up his sleeve.
Uh, bricklayer and then clay oven. There we go. So we didn't need to do a clay grab. He's just going to build. Play, just played bricklayer instead. Although I'm a little confused he didn't go for the six, the four wood one food action, or four clay one food action. A little surprised by that. All right, so I found the growth and play storage shed. Second action, head to the family or a wood grab. Or five clay, actually. Five clay would be quite good. Five wood, four, four wood, five clay. Any of those would be excellent. I didn't see he had late bloomer because I want to change. Because I should be able to react to that, but whatever. I'm sure, pretty sure he's not going to family growth. He wants to late bloom anyways. It's not going to be worth it for him to block me. Pretty sure he does four wood or five clay, probably four wood. Wants to make room for another family member in case Joe and Barb grow again. Yeah, I knew Ken wasn't gonna wasn't gonna block family growth. Not with late bloomer, no no sense in doing so. Joe goes for the five clay, so imagine Joe's gonna try to build another room. And everything works out the same except for the fact that I get another family member. Uh, or I get five wood from with my first action. Anyways, um, so what am I thinking for next round? Next round, my family growth might not be contested. If it isn't, it would be pretty cool if I could play um, 
if I could play an occupation, maybe forest farmer and then jump from plow to family growth. Or jump from plow to build room, something like that. Barbarossa is looking like he's going to build another room. Um, he does have his hut builder room coming in as well though, so not totally sure. Ken, I imagine, is going to reno and play the basket maker's workshop. But if Barbarossa builds a room, I might get six wood, so that'd be good. Because uh, if neither of the wood actions get taken, yep, and Joe start players with his last move, that means I have a choice between six wood and family, or Barbarossa has a choice between six wood and family growth. And then I get the other. And then I can do six wood and then head of the family and then family growth anyways. Only thing that's a downside about that play is I could, if I built, sta if I built another room and then built another stable, I would get, I would be able to hold another sheep, which would be nice. Would be two food. I don't know if that's going to be worth it for the two food. So yeah, pretty sure Joe Star players here. Yeah, bread machine. Okay, cool. Good card. I wonder if Barbarossa will gamble on my head of the family. Because he did pass it to me, so we shall see. Well, that works for me. So on my to-do list, get a big pile of clay and keep getting stone from my storage shed so that I can do a five or six room stone house. I have 18 wood. Six of that goes to a room. Two of that goes to two stables. That leaves me with 10 wood, one with threshing machine plow. Yeah, so I can still fence relatively early. Okay, I won't build two rooms, but I definitely will build one more room. So I'm thinking in round 10, so I'll play Threshing Machine Plow on Family Growth because then in round 10 I can um, go on Plow and then Forest Farm and then jump to Family Growth or Room or whatever. And the actions on the board are not amazing at the moment. Ooh, uh, okay, Layabout makes my Head of the Family one food more expensive. I think it's still fine. No one else can take animals. I can take three sheep at the start of next round.
Okay, Ken plays Cooking Hearth. Um, Ken might do a sew action here. He might take two sheep, but he might do a sew action. I think it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna go on. Uh, I'm gonna go on family growth either way. Ooh, grain elevator. So there's going to be some competition for the one grain space. Joe wants to go on it. I want to go on it. Ken wants to go on it. It's a pain in the butt. That's okay. So if I can get four clay next round, that'll be pretty good. Although I do have two clay, so there is Alchemist Lab available as well. The Alchemist Lab is pretty handy. Yeah, I just want to get my fence. I just want to get my food situation sorted, and then I'll be fine. Because I have, we'll have lots of actions in round eleven to spend on getting to a clay house. That should be okay. So I have four moves here, and I want my last two to be build room and family growth. So I can afford to... And actually, if I, I have five moves if I occupation and plow a field. So I can do clay, plow, auk, room, jump to family growth. That should work. I guess I want cheap as well. I forgot about that. You know what? I need the food more. Food is more important than that. And then I should get four clay back. Okay, Joe skipped and baked. So I think probably my actions are take clay and then build room and then family growth. Oh, Barbarossa taking the clay. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I would like those boar. But I would like to get them after building room.
So now if I take those boar, I can keep a breeding pair of sheep and boar, and then I can fence next round and get get some get some breeding going. Which would be pretty strong. Oh, four it goes. That's fine. Maybe I'll take fish with my last move. I could take stone, take reed, and then play grain bag here. Hmm, maybe that's the best move. I'm comp considering between grain bag and dough. The reason I'm thinking about dough is because then I would have a pretty easy way to feed if I just get a so bake action next round, or this round even. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna family growth here. Oh, but I need to actually get on the grain space. Yeah, so last action will be to play dough, and then if I go on the family growth spot, it's a seven food action, and that solves my feeding for the next harvest. I would force the other players to do first action, take one grain, which I don't think they want to do. I think they want to do other stuff. So I guess the other thing I could consider is just using fishing to to uh, feed my family and then because it does save me a food on dough if I don't play it here and I would like to get my grain bag out before I start going on the one grain space so I guess if I play grain bag the one grain space is a four food action compared to dough would make it a seven food action but dough I have to pay a food here for so I'm not sure I think I like the dough play I do have five food on my farm already, so should be able to get enough. There's one cattle available. Yeah, I have I have some good options. This is start player from Ken, I imagine.
Cho might first action take rain here. No, he plowed. Okay, good. Barbarossa might block me too, but I don't think he will. Alright, let's play the safe. I get seven food total from that. Or result of seven food. I guess I had to pay a food, so I only got six food net. When you consider that I had to pay one, but... Oh, I think that's fine. So on my to-do list, take wood, take reed. Um, do one more food grab. Probably cattle? Hmm. Three read, I think. Or I could take clay and then build pottery. I think I like that. Three read. And then maybe take clay and then reno something, reno grain bag. If I built one more room and played Animal Tamer's Apprentice, I would get two food per round for the rest of the game and more when I upgrade to stone, but I probably am not doing that until the end of the game, so not sure. I guess I could build joinery, take three wood, take three wood, take three clay, build joinery and run on with Reno. Ooh, fence dealer, jeez. Yeah, Barbarossa. I think it's Barbarossa's game at this point. It's gonna be hard for anyone to beat that. I wonder if Joe's thinking about stone oven here, or if he's going to build another room. I would think he builds another clay room, right? Or maybe two more clay rooms. Or 
Hopefully not two more clay rooms. Hmm. So I guess if I built joinery, it would be five wood and two clay or two stone for two points plus six food. Whereas if I built another wood room, Animal Tamer's Apprentice, I get the six food, I get the two points, and then I take three points away from my opponents. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. So I would build a room and play Animal Tamer's Apprentice with my last two moves here. But then my fencing is so late. Hmm. Yeah, and I have to pay two food now, which is not ideal. I would like to start going for pickler. Take grain every round, or take vegetable every round would be handy. Barbarossa playing drinking trough. Okay, I have two actions left. I'm thinking... The other thing about reno joineries, it might mean that my... My other stuff is late. Hmm. I do like fencing here, although I can still hold two breeding pairs whether I fence this round or not. Yeah, so that's a bit of a thing to think about. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, so there's two cattle, two boar, there's field. Oh, geez, Joe's playing the pan the lab again. Okay, so I imagine Joe is going for a five room stone house. That would be my guess. Interesting that he's going on the lab so early. So I could play Forest Farmer this round, or I could not. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it towards the end of the round. Might be that I can pay a food and a wood to gain two wood. Or to gain, pay a food to gain a wood or something like that. And if I can do that, sure. Because then I it will probably also pay out. Like, I'll get one more action in round 13 or 14 as well. So, probably worth doing. But we'll see.
Okay, can fences. I would like to get the boar back. That's my best case. Yeah, there we go. Nice, Joe. Very nice. So two boar, take grain, take vegetable. And then I have one more action, which could be occupation, forest farmer, jump to start player, or to three wood or two wood. Yeah, either of those are, would work. Playing grain bag would be nice. Play grain bag before I go on the grain space would be a really big improvement. Why is Anise playing cards in this game? That makes no sense. Never seen that before. This is Joe on Family Growth. Okay, so Start Player Grain Bag is still a good option for me. Yeah, I agree, Lumen. Ghost of Anise strikes again, absolutely. Um, I'm not giving up on getting to a stone house, and even if I don't get stone house, stone oven would be excellent. So, uh, although Barbarossa is looking like he's going to build a sixth room, which is pretty ridiculous. Did not think I was going to have to deal with that. I'll get a stone anyways. Okay, so I have two more moves, and still two more, even if I play Forest Farmer. So I could take Green, take Vegetable, and then do Plow So first action, round 13. What else could I do? I'm not sure. Oh, there goes the stone oven. All right, we got 
Barbaro says, one move, I have two moves. If he blocks green, it would be pretty annoying. Yeah, I do auto so on V, you're right. And last move here, mm, probably just two wood, I guess. I guess I could build another fireplace to get three green whenever I go on the one green space, but I think that one green space is going to be contested with Joe and Barbarossa. So I'm just going to play simple, take two wood. Looks okay for now. Hopefully, Ken probably realizing he doesn't need to first action family growth because Joe is going to go on a different space, most likely. So my next move... I think I would like to be a little greedy and take grain first, and then hopefully take grain uh, take veg or take grain and then take vegetables second. I also want to get my feeding so that I don't need to eat any animals. So I have three food total, so I need seven more. So if I take grain and bake one, keep one. That's five more. Traveling players is one more, and then I would need to like read stone food or something. Maybe day labor. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I also want to keep taking wood, because wood is points as well for me. I wonder if Barbarossa has Half Timbered House or Stone House Extension, one of those two. But well, both would be devastating. Probably Half Timbered House, considering how he's left with one clay, one reed, and three stone. Joe might be thinking about a sixth room, though. Especially if he did pass Stonehouse extension. Yeah, Joe might be planning on another room here. I don't need to say anything. Maybe he's just planning on building the fireplace. I do want to try to get to a five room stone house as well. So if I could start player, that would be pretty handy to protect that reno. Ken also is a couple turns away from being able to reno, so I don't need to worry too much.
And then next action will be to take vegetable. Yeah, the other guys are looking okay for food, so I think this should work. I don't think any of them is likely to take traveling players. Yep, darn, that really blows. There's the stone house extension, so yeah, I really just no and not getting grain, no chance at all in this game for me. Oh well. I'll still try. I mean, I can get two stone here and then two stone next round. And then I'm in a position to run a fence at the end of the game. And I can plow and use my forest farmer again next round. So I've got, I still got some stuff that I can do. Oh, traveling players. That's unexpected. Especially when he has boar from almost as much food, but then it would let him breed and get him a point. Yeah, I definitely would have taken boar there because if anyone fishes, then he gets vegetable, which is the same amount of food. Oh well. So let's see, if I do two stone here, two stone next round, that gets me to five, read stone food, I would still be one stone short. So stone house extension would be a three point, would be a six point move. So be doing three actions for three points, I guess that's worth it. Or three actions for six points, it's probably worth it for me, yeah. And I guess there's no point in me keeping sheep or boar if I'm just going to, I'm not going to be able to breed them. And if I don't fence this round, I can't breed them anyways. So yeah, I'll eat a sheep or a boar and then probably a raw grain. Because my grain only converts at one food per time better. Not really any difference there.
So I got two more moves. Um, really not much for me to do. I guess I'll take stone. I could alchemist lab with my second move. Would get me very similar to my reedstone food. Now yeah, we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that works. Maybe I can get this stone house extension played. Would take a lot of work, but maybe. Not sure if this was the right move, but we will see. Taking vegetable and doing a sow action would be really nice, but I'm going to gamble that I'll get it next time for my second action. Let's try it. Let's try for this stone house extension. I have five more actions. My reno is safe for the moment. Although I guess I just screwed that if Ken takes three clay here. Nope, so, okay, perfect. He wants the pickler bonus. Good, 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 good. So I should take two stone with my next action then in order to dissuade Ken from wanting to compete. So take two stone to secure my reno and then take vegetable, and then take stone, and then reno and fence. And then I can eat, eat two boar, and I can eat some grain. I can eat my excess grain. Yeah, okay, this might work. Yeah, I had to do that to guarantee my reno, to, or to, to defend my reno. So I have four more actions. Vegetables, one of them. Take another stone, reno stone house extension, and reno fence, or reno fence and stone house extension on an improvement space. Okay. That works. I'm also in the spot where if I don't get a fence action, it's not the end of the world because I have the joinery. 
So fencing is not worth as much as it would normally be. All right, Joe did Reno fence. Okay, good, 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 good. That means I can go on the fence space and on Reno. That means my stone house extension is safe, 100%. So next action, vegetable. This has been a tough game, very tough. I would have liked for family growth to come out one round later. Head of the family, not sure it was worth it at all. Not sure it was worth it at all. All right, so that's two points and a ton of food, so that's good. Because now I'm at, I'm gonna have five grain in my heart in my supply. Five grain plus a wood plus two boar. There we go. That's all the, all the feeding I need for the final harvest. And actually, it's one extra, so that means going on Alchemist Lab is preferable to Reedstone Food. Although I guess if I go on Reedstone Food, then I save. So I don't know. Of course he's got to take play. <sighs> Means I won't have time to fence. Oh, really? Joe has Master Builder? Wow. Oh, Diligent Farmer. Okay. Wow. Jeez. Holy crap. And I have to reno here because otherwise Ken is going to reno. So obnoxious for me. So obnoxious.
So let's see if I get an improvement space to play my stone house extension. Let's see if Barbarossa blocks um, starting player. I don't think he will. Well, if he thinks that I'm a threat to beat him, he might. I'm not sure if he will, though. I guess now that I've played Costermongers, I can eat a vegetable and it doesn't cost me a point. So that's handy. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to convert a vegetable. Vegetable and boar is four food. Wood is six food, and then four grain is ten. Yeah, so no matter what, I'm eating a point, whether it's two grain or a boar. Okay, uh, I need to do some quick math here. Is fencing worth it? If I fence seven, yeah, it's definitely going to be worth it. Wow, they're saying I have it. If I do, that's going to be pretty crazy. Because I'm definitely not feeling like I do. Forty-five plus... Well, I only have forty-five plus... Uh, oh, plus six, I guess. GG, um, wow, yeah, I guess I won. So 45 point farm plus three bonus points plus another three for my unscored miners. Wow, I can, <laughs> oh my god, I've been so tense for like the past 30 minutes. This game was so hard. Jeez.
Wow, I can't believe I won that. I've been on a cold streak too. Uh, somehow I was the only one to do almost everything. Barb relying on Witch's Dance Ground didn't help him ceiling wise. Yeah, Lumen, you're you're absolutely right. Um, I mean, I managed to fill my farm, which Joe didn't, and I managed to. Yeah, Joe didn't have any. I don't know. This this game is like <laughs> like probably. Yeah, this is a crazy game. I actually totally overlooked. I'm, you know what? I'm actually glad that Ken played the three clay grab because it meant that because uh, I wouldn't have considered playing Coster Mongers otherwise, and it was absolutely worth doing. Too, I th would have thought it, it would be too risky because I thought that my Stonehouse extension would be an easy block so that Barbarossa could win. And the thing is, if Barbarossa blocks me instead of building stables, he can still tie with Joe for the win. But it would have been tight. So, wow. Uh, three players with a six room Stonehouse. <laughs> and it's the three players that saw House Stewart in the draft, too. Jeez, what a game. What a game. Storage Shed ended up being a hero. That very key three stone. Too bad I couldn't have gotten it out a little. Or four stone, actually, right? Because Stonehouse Extension's not on. Five stone. Yeah, stone, uh, shep Storage Shed for five stone. Really key. And then just having a ton of actions. Getting to Forest Farm as much as I did. Wow can't believe I won that. I definitely thought uh, when Stonehouse Extension came out, I thought I was done for. Thanks, Enfold. Let's take a quick look at the draft. I need to update the scores as well. So, first pick Peon. Wow, Family Counselor is 4.5. I mean, I Family Counselor was nice and fun, but I didn't think it was that strong. Jeez. So yeah, that was a huge blunder. I took the fifth best card first. Oh, man. And then what did I get back out of that? Then I took Obs Collector over Social Climber, right? Jeez. House Steward looks fine. Forest Farmer, I'm happy with. Um, Obs Collector over Social Climber, yeah. And then Animal Tamer's Apprentice and Astronomer. Jeez. And then I took Brushwood Roof again. I took the sixth best card. And then I got Threshing Machine Plow back. So yeah, so I think I got a little lucky. I drafted kind of poorly, but the game sort of went okay in spite of that. Um, I mean, Grain Bag is the f f uh, sixth card by posi draft position, but it's the second card based on power. And I think Grain Bag, like, it makes sense with um, the... The guy, Peon, then Gimlet, knowing that I have House Steward, Storage Shed was really key, and then I got Threshing Machine Plowback. Yeah, I, I'm really surprised I got Threshing Machine Plowback. When you're planning on a big house, the uh, awkward, um, the awkward uh, fencing it forces you to do is not such a big punishment. But yeah, wow, this first here. I'm surprised Peon is so low. 
Yeah, Stone Curator. Yeah, I definitely thought about Stone Curator. Um, but I put, uh, but I took, um, is the mic muted? No, I don't think so. I definitely thought about Stone Curator, but, um, I think I took Alms Collector instead because I was like, oh, Alms Collector with Head of the Family, the timing is perfect, ton of food. Then I can focus on the first fireplace and have food settled for a little while, which it was, but then once it what once, yeah, this was a dicey game, very dicey, but I managed 51, 51, pretty strong score, so... Guess I gotta report it. I'm not sure that I did. Yeah, so paying so let's think about Costermonger's Burrow. So the two wood cancels out the one point from the Costermonger's Burrow itself. But I still gain a point from playing it because it means that I can eat a vegetable without losing any food. Yeah. So if I'd just gone on the one stone space or the reed, well, reed stone food actually would have been the same amount of points because I ended up with one extra food. But yeah, costume mongers, wow. That worked out nicely. I have to check what Barb had left in his hand to see if it would have been good for him to block me. So Barbarossa's Miners, Witches Dance Ground played, Alchemist Lab played, Carpet didn't have the stuff for, Harrow cost two wood, which I assume he didn't have the wood for. Wow, so I got lucky. Yeah, because he played everything else, and Harrow he couldn't afford, and Carpet he couldn't afford. Uh, although, he could just go for the start player action, he doesn't need a Miner to block me. Because yeah, he could have just blocked... Did I report that wrong? Uh, 47, 48. No, I think I did that right. Yeah. Um, yeah, because if Barbarossa blocks me, he loses a point. You know what? He had two, he had two wood because he built a stable. So he could have played uh, Harrow. Oh, but it doesn't gain him a point. Okay, but if he does that, then he ties with Joe for the win, and I come at 45, right? And with 45, I think. So it would have beat me by two points. So Barbarossa choosing to play nice there, I guess. Maybe he... I get, I know not, every, like, not everyone looks at the scoring uh, card, so maybe he didn't know. Maybe he thought he had me beat anyways. Um, or maybe he thought it's not worth me losing to Joe to give up this point here to block me. Yeah, it was very tight, so I'm not sure. Um, anyways, thank you very much for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, Nathan and I will probably try to do our farm friendly farming Friday early because we're going camping this weekend. And uh, other than that, yeah. Um, Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.